What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. That's Mike. I'm Chris. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on, Chris? Got to trick you every time. Your trick. Mikey, the yes. Terror. It's episode three yeah. of Infamy. Uh, it's titled Gammon. Uh, this was a really mm-hmm. good episode. The show, I'm loving the show. The, Gammon means to yeah. persevere, which is what his father, Henry, does. Uh, Chester's father, Henry, does after getting back from his from Milwaukee or whatever, whatever camp he was in. I don't know what they did to that guy, but they fucked him up. They did some yeah, stuff because, to I him, mean, From man. the last time we saw him in the previous episode, he held up the fish, remember? And, yeah, but um, then, no, but then, like... but then he went out with the other two guys, remember? And they, and they, and they killed them. And, oh, that, and that's right. They left the guy. Whatever the guy, the the guy yeah, they left the guy. So, my... so maybe they punished him or something. They must have punished him in some way after. Yeah, they, they, the he's guy... got frostbite. Remember, yeah. he's got the frostbite on his foot. Look, man, this, yeah. this is a good show. I'm, I'm. First of all, I, I I said it I said it last episode too, but I'm I'm oh. just just watching it's just, it's 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 kind of like watching Schindler's List for uh, the Japanese during World War Two. You know what I mean? It's like it's it's heartbreaking and it's appalling them being in these stupid camps and they just yeah. had to deal with it. Like that's like what the what the hell is that shit? You know? Yeah. I, again, I'm not gonna get into it, but you know, history repeats itself and we're still doing shit like that. But um, anyway, people are treating loose like shit because yes, they are. You know, she, you know, she's not there. You know, Chester's being. What do you think about what Chester? What he's done in this episode? Tell me, tell me what you think. Listen, it's uh, it's it's basically Chester. To me, he feels he feels like th- he's the reason these things are going on. Like he's, um, he's getting a little bit more. Uh, I think he believes a little bit more in the uh, what they call it, the yuri, right? The yuri is mm-hmm. like the spirits and these. He's Japanese beginning spirits. to believe more and more. He's right? questioning, yeah, yeah, he's questioning, um, uh, you know, a lot about about these strange occurrences that's going on. Remember, the wind keeps he keeps feeling yeah, that lose, chilly wind. Lose falls, yeah, lose falls, and she said there was like this wind. So um, it's strange because that was one of the parts of the episode that I'm like. Because we're still trying to figure this whole thing out. We're still trying to feel figure out if, if Yuko is good or, or bad. If she's going after Chester, if she's protecting Chester, um, the 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 part that is confusing is the fact that Luz said that she fell down. She there was like this gust of wind and she fell over. So to, ah! to fast, <laughs> to fa- ah, my shoe fell off. To fast forward for a, a quick second, not trying to get too ahead, but by the end of the episode, we're seeing Lou's getting taken care of this midwife who turns out to be Yuko, and it seems as if the that, baby is listen, all that, that she is worrying about. That that lady, so, that creature is everywhere, man. She is, and she's obviously going more. She's transplanting her body in a, in a, in in um, Yosh, uh, Ferrar, Ferraria in this Ferraria, episode yeah. too, choking his son. But yeah, that's my point. Like with. With her protecting the baby at the end to potentially being the one that causes Luz to fall, it kind of – so, I'm, you know, there's, there's a lot of questions. So uh, other than that, which is good because we like to watch episodes that pose new ideas and questions about what's going on, um, it's it's super – I mean it's super creepy. It's not like – it's not like some of these shows that we review where it's all about the action and the speed and the tempo and all this mm-hmm. kind of stuff, right? Because it's not – it's we're not really getting that. It's not that type of show, but it's super interesting. I'm not – when I'm watching the show, I'm like into like – I wish this was the show that we could have binged if we got AMC Premium or something, right? Because yeah. you just want more even though it's not necessarily this big action-filled um, TV show. So yeah. I think I <laughs> it said it said it uh, yeah, exactly uh, how I feel. Yeah, so. you know that. Yeah, I, I mean I agree. Um, but you know a lot of stuff did happen in this episode. You know, Faruya, he he. I guess he's killed. She rips out his tongue. We find out oh, that yeah. oh, they, he did something. Path. Here's my thing. It seems like he did something to her when she was alive. Because that's what the Yuri is, right? It's it's a it's a restless spirit. It's a spirit who's been scorned yeah. and is back to cause trouble. She says, you know, oh, like you and your friends did to me or something like that, right? Yeah. And he's like, oh, well, I was wrong. We were young or whatever he says. But mm. that's the gist of it. That's what happens. I don't remember now. It's been a week or so. But the thing is, is that's what that's what we're working with now. So so yeah. so so then you have to be like, well, I guess this is this is a vengeful spirit against him, but. 
then you go, why is she protecting? Like, so Chester can sense her. He can see her, you know. He, she's focused on him. She's, she's focused on him. him. But, but well, yeah, right. But not, we don't know if it's for ill. Because if it was for ill, she would have done something, right? Because she's done it all over. And these people keep telling. Then he sees uh, uh, Furuya. He sees him turn into Yoshida again. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, uh, uh, yeah, she, he did see, turn he, yes, into Yoshida. Yoshida. Um, um, uh, Oh, that was that was what my, that was my thought because I was thinking. Sorry, two thoughts in one. Him and Yoshida might have because they were old friends. Yeah. F right. So uh, uh, for Ria, so maybe him and Yoshida and 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 possibly somebody of, else yeah, did something, something to her right when they were younger. Um, yeah. So that's that. So we don't know this this this. Sorry, I just thought I heard a bug or something. This bitch is everywhere though, dude. So she what is. does she have with that baby? Like it's like you're right. It's just it's super creepy. Um, and we don't know where it's going. Um, Could it be that this baby is a potential body for her? I mean, she's already start, got a I mean, body. Yeah, but maybe the maybe it's a different. I mean, yeah, that's true. I guess I'm kind of just thinking as we're talking a little bit. But, about and then she also, but they, but they're saying, but Chester thinks that 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 Faruya's wife died because of what she, what he asked her to do or that's why she killed herself like yeah i just i don't i don't know but putting that aside for a second i want to just talk about chester for a second yes is he really is he leaving because he thinks he's the he's the problem or and or is he also leaving because he thinks this is the only way to so to um uh so like supply what i keep wanting to say in the word supply to provide for his family, for his unborn child, and and Luce and and his mom and everything. Like so, he takes because he takes his job as a translator, which I thought was a really fun scene, yeah. where he's like, "Oh, you mean this thing that you? This is the thing you want me to talk about? You know, like yeah. you know what I mean? Like, and the guy was like, "Ah, oh, okay, okay, cool." Yeah, he's like, "How many people? Let me ask you, how many people actually got this? You know, yeah, you yeah, yeah. He's like, "You obviously know what what the hidden message is in this thing, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, for for me, it's I think it might be a little bit of both to answer your yeah. question. Um, obviously, he wants to provide for his for his uh, his potential wife, I guess, or an, and his, and his unborn, unborn child. child. Right? Yeah. Um, I mean, his family's there. Uh, you know the place. Honestly, it's a terrible thing that that that's that's happened to the to the Japanese. Uh, obviously, in the show, just in in history itself, uh, when this really occurred. But at least they they watching a movie. It's not like it, it's it's lousy conditions, but it seems like they're yeah. making the best out of them. Oops. You know what I mean? Yeah. So at least um, I guess Chester feels confident enough to leave his family there. Listen, if shit was really going down, do you think he would really leave regardless of uh, potential pay or salary or anything like that? So I think that he um, feels that it is uh, – he is the reason. And maybe with him around, it, this Yuri or whatever can, can potentially hurt his family. Yeah, possibly. So, yeah. I just want to know what – I just want to know what Yuko wants to do with that kid. Like she's just – it's like yeah. every at every turn, it's a new creepy thing. Like we saw two major things, three, three major things. She makes Furia almost kill his son. Then we yeah. see that. Then she rips out his tongue, and then she's on. She's all over Luce's belly. So it's like, what is happening? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It was it was cool. I mean, the transformations. We're seeing more of those. We're seeing her obviously entering other uh, multiple bodies, right. uh, like the soldier that lets. Aurora out of the love yeah it, oh that was fucking creepy dude right and then all of a sudden she it. appears and and uh and this, this and that but i mean it, she's she's a great character to watch because she's she's very attractive i mean she's but she's also like creepy as hell creep, creepy as hell yeah. yeah so she has that like um there's like that weird like attraction to to her so um i don't yeah. know man well listen I'm we're gonna see curious yeah, we're I'm gonna curious see to hopefully see. it looks like it looks like some shit goes down in the next episode i don't know if you watch the coming attractions but uh yeah did i watch them Actually, she's got that I'm... weird mask on someone's got that weird mask on oh, yeah, and, yeah 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 i did see yeah I did yeah see and it. he's oh and he's seeing some stuff he's in the trenches now or whatever he's he's overseas or whatever yeah and he's seeing some some stuff chester excuse me so <laughs> 
Sorry, yeah. it's, it's, it's no. It's like, is the show boring you that much, Chris? No, it's late. It's, man, yeah, it's no. late. We, we're recording these things late, man. Just tired, yeah. long day. But uh, um, yeah, I'm looking over. I mean, really. Um, yeah, I'm looking at my notes. It's just. I mean, it's like, sad. It was sad the moment when uh, Chester's mom runs out and she cuts a clip of his hair yeah. and this and that and Luz is asking why that that's it, why she's doing that. Um, uh, maybe we'll see a little bit of what happened with Henry and, and the other guys too. Um, it was probably they, a punishment thing because the other guys came back all right. So for, for the most part, yeah, they, yeah, you know, so for Henry to come back all for the model like son that, or whatever, he's, he's yeah, there, right? I'm thinking that, um, after the fact, you know, maybe, maybe the, the spy survived and told him and told on them. Um, but told what they weren't doing anything. They left him out there. To, to oh die well, the ice. yeah. Well, well who, who knows? Who knows? Either way, so, it's that, I don't know. Either way, if he's dead the, or not, it's probably they they probably kept him out in the cold. And, well, the point you know. was right. The point was Henry came back messed up, and yeah, you know, and just that scene with him and his father was actually pretty good because that's mm -hmm. you know the father's like he's like dad, this is you got to take care. Of, this is your grandchild, and this and that. And he's like, yeah. you know what? He's like, we never stopped. I never stopped doing my thing. I never stopped trying to take care of you know. And he's just like, well, I'm going and whatever. And he's just like. Yeah. Yeah, this is falling out, but you know he'll come around. They'll they'll, they'll come around. I don't know. It's so, it's. A, I'm I'm really I'm really really enjoying the show. I, yeah. It's a it's a very interesting show. I agree. I agree. Um, I don't find it slow. I find it interesting and and yeah. and um, yeah. I mean, it's moving. It's moving. You know, it's probably going to start moving a little quicker now. We're getting on to episode four and. Trying. You know, oh, I, there 10? It's 10? I believe there's 10 this season. Yeah. yeah. So. so I don't know. Yeah. Um, what I'm curious is that they're going to wrap this up. It's going to only be the one season, no? Cause yeah, that's what it's, doing with because these? it's an anthology, I guess. So, yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. Hey, this could, this could, we could be potentially doing this show for years. So, we'll, you know, that's, we'll see. I, I'd like that, you know. That's true. I should that's go back different. and watch the first one, although I'm just not, I'm just. I already, like, know what happened from just people talking about it. So, I don't know if that'll ruin it, but. Oh, see, I, I don't know if I'm into the, that cold Arctic. I'm, I, I kind of am, but I'm also like it. Like I don't like that, man. I'm just, I mean, it I seemed like I, it seemed interesting. I don't know. We must have been doing some another show or two. Oh, I think we know. were doing Badlands. Yeah, we were probably doing Dead. Badlands or something. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's something. But like I said, I already kind of got you already know. So it doesn't spoiled. make a difference. Yeah. So. But anyway, I could just read the book. I could just go read the book. That first season's based on a book. So okay. But um, but no, I, I you know I know I know it's probably good. I'll probably end up watching, especially if, if this continues on. So yeah. Anyway, having anyway. said everything about yes, that. yes, I think we uh, <laughs> I think we said all we needed to say. Yeah. Uh, everybody, write in the comment section below. Let us know what you're thinking of Terra, the Infamy. It's a great show, really creepy, really cool. Um, check us out at Third Person on all the social media outlets. There, you can type in thirdpersonpod.com in the Google searches. Brings you right to our YouTube channel. You can check it all out. It's very cool. We actually just got lucky enough to interview John Bruno, who is like the special effects legend um, uh, last week, right? Yeah, so it's, we up, those... it's up there now. You're watching this. Yeah. It's up there now. He he worked on also. He was a visual effects supervisor for Nosferatu, yes. uh, which is a show. It's also on our channel. Go check it out. Another AMC yeah. show. Fantastic. If you haven't seen it, if you're watching The Terror, then you know what Nosferatu is because you probably yeah. saw it already. Uh, great show. I actually just finished the book absolutely fantastic yeah. um you know different than the show um but i enjoy them both and i actually really like where the show was taking it you know so mike you know you and i can talk about that after you you, yeah. know, you get done with the book but yeah um yeah no good stuff he was he was amazing he was a, it was a fun interview it was fun to chat with him he's yeah. done ghostbusters poltergeist the abyss he's won an oscar for the you know John Bruno's awesome. It was so, insane. It's basically an hour and a half of me and Chris just standing there, just listening to this guy explain some awesome effects and and how some of these movies that we love, the classic movies, came to life and and how he did that. There's a two parts for that. So the first part parts, is yeah. is about the Nosferatu and 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 him working on that show, and then the second one is just a fun uh, a fun episode. Trip where, down memory lane with his, exactly. With all the if, movies if you're we a little bit older, like Chris and I, and grew up in the '80s, he did a lot of fantastic stuff even later on i mean the guy's done avatar and titanic so yeah. check that stuff out it's really interesting he gets into some cool stuff shows um, us some props and yeah and some he, cool he images that was gracious that, enough to give us some images from from yeah. some of these things so 
Uh, a, lot of, a lot of cool back uh, background, back back behind the scenes stuff. Mm-hmm. So check that stuff out. Um, like I said, third person pod on all the social media stuff. Uh, yeah, I think that's, that's it. about it. That'll do it. Thank you for watching, guys. We love you. We'll see you for the next episode of Terror. Thanks. Thanks.